I be calling JavaScript on your mom, on your mom. She be loving how I move through the dom, through the dom. Saying I love you through the console log, console log. She be saying I like this, oh my god, oh my god. All right, party people. So now we're gonna create our first ever object. Are you excited? I'm excited. All right. So first we have to create a variable. So a variable circle object. And then you have your equals curly braces, right? Same way you would make a variable before, but instead we're putting in here two curly braces. And inside of that, what we're going to have are the properties of that circle object. So property would be uh, fill color, right? And we want the fill to be orange. And the best way I could describe properties is let's say we have a circle, right? So let's draw a circle on paint over here draw that circle and inside of it it's going to be filled orange and that's what we have here on our text editor we have the fill as orange and let's say we want to change the border color let's say the border we wanted it to be blue right so uh oh can we do that okay so should have made it from the start I should have made it blue so there we have it then inside of it, it's going to be orange. So the border is blue and the fill is orange. So now we have to describe that in our circle object. So the next property, I'm going to say here border, because we're now we're describing the border of that circle object. And the border is blue. So there we go. We've described our object. The circle object is orange, has a fill of orange, and the border is blue. So that's pretty good. We've now described it. So how do we console log this out and show it onto our browser? So the way that we do that is the same way that we do console.log. We're going to grab that variable and that variable is called circle object. And then we put a dot dot to access its properties. So what do we want to console log here? Let's console log out the fill color. Right. And as you can see, it's pretty convenient because this editor is showing you all the different properties it has, right? These two boxes. So we'll click on fill. So now if we go over to our browser, you can see that it console logged out orange. It's pretty cool. Now, what about the border? Let's console log out the border. As you can see, there it is blue. And the way that we're accessing those properties in our object is by putting this dot here. This magical dot is what's making it happen. So let's practice some more. Let's make another object. Let's take this out, right? Let's take this out too. And we want to name it, uh, let's do a square now. So square opt. And you can name the variable once again, anything you want. I'm just naming it whatever the shape is. So. Put in your two curly braces and we're gonna let's say you know border color I'm not gonna name it just border this time we're gonna switch it up and name it border color because you know we can switch it up we can name it whatever we want so i'm gonna name it border color and the border color of this square object will be green so we've described it to be green so if we go into our paint it would look like Look like this. You know, I would have a green border. And we want to put in a fill. So let's put in fill color. And what do you guys want to make it? Let's make it blue. So let's go back into our drawing board. Let's show you how it looks like visually. So you have both sides. And <laughs> you guys probably know this, but when you're coding this, you don't have to go into paint and describe it. I'm just doing it. So there's a visual representation so you guys can see so let's put in that fill save it oh don't save that and now we have our blue square which is more of a rectangle but whatever and as you can see the blue has a blue fill color and a green border color so we fully described it right now let's console.log it out and grab it square object dot to access its properties and fill color save that and what do you guys think it's going to pop up onto the screen 
There it is, blue. I think the last one is still blue, so they don't really change anything. Let's access the border color instead. That There's some difference there. So border color, what do you guys think it's going to pop up? It says green there is the value, so it should show green. And there it is. So practice that. Practice making some objects. You know, I know you guys are kind of new at this, but, you know, just have fun with it. Just make random objects that you want to describe. A car. A car has tires. So the way that you would do that is var car equals tires. And then, you know, you want to describe the color. And the color will be uh, tire color. And then the color will be black, let's say. You know. And uh, what else? Windows. Four. Right? And once again, you could put you could put a string in here. You could put a number. So practice that on your own. Try to get a feel for making objects with these properties. On the next one, we'll add functions into our objects, which then turns into methods. But more on that later. We've got to take it slow. One step at a time, right? And yeah. So practice that, do a lot of, make a lot of objects, play with it, and I'll see you in the next one.